गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू द वाओ रेड अनियन ब्लैक सीड ऑयल हेयर मास्क सो दिस इज नॉट द हेयर ऑयल दिस इज द हेयर मास्क और राइट सो टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट आई हैव बीन यूजिंग अनियन ऑयल दैट इज द ऑर्गेनिक अनियन ऑयल व्हिच इज बाय नो ब्रांड लाइक आई मेक इट एट होम फॉर माय हेयर बेसिकली एंड दैट हैज बीन डूइंग रियली रियली गुड फॉर माय हेयर ग्रोथ आई हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस एज फार एज हेयर ग्रोथ इज कंसर्न बट सो व्हेन वाओ सार टू लाइक यू नो गिव दीज थिंग्स आउट दैट हैड रेड अनियन एंड हैड दिस ब्लैक सीड ऑयल एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट एंड केम इन अ हेयर मास्क आई थॉट व्हाई नॉट ट्राई इट so yeah before i go ahead let's just go quickly and see how the box looks and what what it is about uh, so yeah go take take a look at that all right guys so this is the wow uh, skin science red onion black seed oil hair mask it helps restore uh, hair strength it's the usual it's got hair no paraben no sulfate no uh, mineral oil and silicones and yeah so this is how it is it it helps prevent hair thinning adds luster to dull hair and helps repair brittle hair and uh, all right this one costs for 99 and uh, it has purified water it has all these other chemicals and uh, it seems to be okay so here it is so we use it you shampoo and squeeze out the excess water apply the hair mask from tips to the roots and uh, finger comb the hair and em emulsify the hair through the mask and allow it to sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then heal with uh, sorry <laughs> rinse with uh, warm water and then uh, final rinse with cold water all right so let's see when you open it what happens all right so this is the mask and opened and uh, all right so we're going to use this All right, guys. So I have shampooed my hair. I've kind of squeezed out the excess water, and now I'm going to apply the red onion black seed oil mask. I just hope it doesn't smell. That's my main concern here. Okay, so it's not, it's not bad. And let's pour it out. Okay, I think uh, this much should do. I think so I'm taking this much amount. And uh, let us see. Okay, and another thing is they want us to pull it from the roots to the tips. But um, I just know that uh, any conditioner or any mask is not really supposed to go on your roots. So I'm going to kind of skip that part and just going to probably use it on only like my from somewhere from here till the uh, uh, tips. So yeah. Okay, the reason you shouldn't really use any conditioning uh, stuff for your roots is because the roots are like really uh, weak. Anyways, like they're not like uh, super strong. You can consider them a small baby, like baby hair. And then if you try and put anything that will make it further soft, it will tend to break very easily. And so I don't really. It's not a good idea to apply a conditioner or any anything of that sort uh, to your roots. So we're gonna take another time of this, right? That's the amount. And going in the next side. I think I've got pretty much all my hair. I'm gonna wait like they've said for about 15 minutes and rinse off, and I'll meet you back. See ya. All right, guys. So, like you saw, I did that. I washed my hair. In fact, just before making this video, is what I did. And uh, so, the hair is still kind of wet at places. Like you can see, still wet here. Um, I didn't apply it on the roots, like I mentioned in the application part, uh, because I'm really scared of applying any mask, like hair mask or any conditioner to your roots. It's not good. It will make your hair really weak, and you don't want that to happen. But um, I, the hair is frizzy, like you can see. Like there is like I haven't done anything. Like I haven't ironed my hair. My hair uh, really falls really like this is the real texture of my hair. So if I, if it isn't colored, it'll from here it'll just fall like this. It's pretty straight. It has an oily scalp. So 
that's why it's like super straight this all part is color and also it's a bit uh, rough but this area is kind of the new growth and here it's where it should have worked uh it hasn't like not completely worked it's like soft to some extent but i also think that that's my hair that has worked or the shampoo that i used it with i didn't use a wow product i used my own shampoo and um yeah it's it's kind of uh, still rough like you can see i don't know if you, you can see this frizz part that's still kind of there in the hair i don't expect much to happen in the ends cuz i understand they're really colored and stuff like that but it should have kind of done the midway cuz this is like non like from here to here no, nothing has happened and i applied it somewhere from here so exactly this part should have like worked but it hasn't like you can see so i i'm like I'd say the good part is the smell. Like it smells really amazing. It's not like the onion oil because I know I've made the onion oil at home and like I have bought organic onion oil and it smells horrible. You can put all the like amazing uh, essential oils and stuff in it. The smell is going to be there and it's pretty strong. So I was worried about this fragrance, but there isn't any. It's a nice conditionery fragrance, but I think it didn't really work for my hair. and say uh, like having said that i wouldn't buy it like i wouldn't even spend it this is just for 100 bucks it probably would work me like i would use it for like to work for my hair for maybe two times or maximum three may i two i guess if my length of my hair but no i wouldn't use it also when they mention to you put a mask on your scalp that's when you should know that something is wrong no mask or no conditioner will ever they ask you to apply on the scalp so Yeah, maybe not. I wouldn't buy this again. But uh, if you did and you had a different experience, please, please do write write into us and tell us what your experience was. And if there's anything else that you want us to try, please do uh, tell us that as well. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe to hashtag Gorgeous.